Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and today we're going to be customising the brand new Lampadati Tigon. It's one of the new uh, su um, summer special DLC cars that got released in GTA Online. If you're interested in seeing any customisation for the Rancher, the Yuga 4x4, the BF Club or the new Coquette DA. I did a live stream the other day where I customised all of those cars. Um, I've made a pinned comment with each of the time cards for the vehicles when I customize them so if you're interested in seeing customization for those then I will leave a link in the description below to that video but today we're going to be customizing the Lampadati Tigon it's a brand new um, supercar in the game and it's actually the first Lampadati supercar that we've received um, it costs 2.3 million on the legendary motorsports website um, I've bought it in orange and here it is right here. It's a nice looking vehicle. I do quite like the look of it um, It sounds absolutely incredible um, It does sound kind of similar to the uh, Tyrus if you've ever driven that vehicle But let's just hop straight into it and see what we can do with this thing Okay, so here we are in the workshop. Let's just go straight into the front bumpers So we've got this nice stock one here that does actually have like a little splitter down there You can see it has some little fins on each side um, You can get a version of that that has some carbon bolt-on canards. We've got the race splitter which has some um, Little strut braces and an extended carbon splitter. We've got the downforce splitter Which is just a different sort of version of that with a cut out there We've got the performance splitter which again is just an they're all going to be like variants of um, the first one um, All have the strut braces. It's a little bit wider that one. We've got the arc splitter and we've got the GT splitter um, I don't really like any of those. If I bought this car in real life, I wouldn't do any of those. So I'm going to leave the stock on there. On the rear, we've already got like a little diffuser there. We've got some diffuser fins. You can have the race diffuser, the Mark II diffuser, the performance diffuser, the speed diffuser, and the turbo diffuser. Um... The speed diffuser and the turbo ones both have those little fins on the side there. Um, but I like the turbo diffuser, that does look really nice. So I'm going to go for that. We can obviously upgrade the engine. The exhaust is there at the top. It's kind of similar to what we get on the, um, on the McLaren Senna in real life. That has an exhaust like this. Um, you can get a round exhaust, a round cluster exhaust, which is like three little ones in one. You can have the split exhaust, you can have the jet exhaust, and you can have the dual round exhaust. I quite like the split exhaust, that looks very nice. Um, the stock one is like just a big bar exhaust, but the split one does look nice, so I'm going to go for that. There are a few liveries we can get. We can have racing stripes, which is just, just that gold stripe that goes over the entire body of the car. We've got yellow double stripes. Uh, looks a little bit weird. We've got speed stripes. We've got a green double stripe, which is just on one side, so just a lime green stripe. Uh, we've got racer four, which has like, uh, like a two-tone kind of thing going on. Uh, we've got the back is all blue and then you've got the colors in the middle and then whatever primary color we've got racer 10 which is uh, again like a two-tone kind of one we've got racer 23 which is like a dark blue almost black white and red and then whatever primary color we've got jackal racing we've got sprint and we've got flames that just looks a bit stupid um, but I'm going for a clean build, so I'm not going to go with the livery today. Um, we'll set the number plate to black and yellow. On the respray, um, I'm feeling like a yellow. Uh, I'm going to go metallic yellow today. Let's have a look how that looks. Uh, something like this, and we'll change up the pearlescent to something like... Um, something like sunrise orange that looks quite nice 
The secondary colour is obviously going to affect anything you set secondary and it also changes that like bit on the roof there. So at the moment it's black. Let's go ahead and match it to the yellow and see how that looks. Um, and we can always change it again later. See now I do actually like the black because it looks like a little pod in the middle. Um, but I don't like that it has the pearlescent on there. That's kind of annoying. But I guess we'll just leave that as black for now. The skirts, we've got the stock skirt there. We've got a race skirt, which just adds that little fin near the back wheel. We've got the track skirt, uh, which is just going to extend the stock skirt a little bit. We've got the sport skirt, which uh, is basically the track one with the fin. We've got the arrow skirt, which adds a fin at the front and the back. And we've got the GT Mark II skirt. Um, I quite I quite like the race skirt just with the little fin there that just looks very neat I do like that on the spoiler um, so a standard you have this like built-in kind of like spoiler it's sort of built into the lines of the car they're just like a little lip spoiler but you can go for a primary race spoiler that actually looks really neat it looks really nice it kind of looks like it should be active aero but I don't think it's active area. I could be wrong actually. We'll, we'll might have to test that one. But it also does add a brake light, which is really cool. We've got that in the secondary colour. We've got the track spoiler. Looks really nice. I do quite like that actually. We've got the GT spoiler, getting a little bit bigger now. We've got the carbon arrow spoiler. We've got the primary arrow spoiler, so it's like half carbon, half primary, and then we've got that in secondary. And then we've got the primary GT Mark II spoiler, and that actually adds this like little fin on the top. We have the secondary GT Mark II, and then we have the primary arc spoiler. Looks a little bit crazy um, it does add that like fin on the top as well we've got that in secondary and that is it um, I quite like this one just the primary race spoiler do we want it in secondary or in primary I think maybe secondary uh, looks quite nice and we can test out if that is active aero or not we can have a sun strip in primary or secondary um, don't think it really fits this car so I'm gonna leave that the suspension not much of a drop in the suspension um, you can lower it if you want to we'll stick the suspension on there the wheels it does come with these really nice stock wheels um, I believe these are new we've not seen these on any other cars before uh, we can obviously go and put the new um, street wheels on so maybe let's find something in that category that will fit um possibly something um we've got the trophade ones we've got all of these uh, there's loads of nice new wheels and um, they've added a few stock wheels from cars as well um yeah so none of those will fit let me just go back to start again I do quite like these these are kind of like what we get on the Deveste 8 and we'll do those in black yeah that looks much better we can obviously go for some tire lettering we've got atomic we've got atomic yellow we've got Fukaru we've got that in red we've got Chapelle yellow and Chapelle green but I don't really think it suits it this car it's not a race car so and then we'll just go ahead and tint that with some light smoke and that is the thing fully customized so let's take it outside and see how it performs okay so here we are outside uh, let's test the spoiler whether that is active aero okay so it isn't active aero but the brake light that is on the spoiler does actually work so when you brake it's very very faint but when you brake um, the brake light on the spoiler does work which is kind of cool um, we've not seen that before um, I do like that spoiler though it looks just very neat it looks like it fits this vehicle very well and overall what is my opinion of the vehicle I do like the look of this it's a very nice looking supercar it's one of the better cars in this update and in fact in the supercar class 
Uh, performance wise, I mean, it's just another supercar. It handles like most of the other supercars. It does feel quite light though. Um, so like when you turn left and right, it's very responsive. Uh, but when you go over bumps and stuff, it does feel a bit loose, like it could spin out. Um, performance wise, like speed and that kind of thing, I don't know how it compares in the supercar class so that's something i'll have to test and get back to you on but yeah a very nice vehicle some decent customization there could have been a bit more um like the splitters on the front were a bit disappointing um but at the end of the day i like the look of the car just how it is so yeah that is going to do it for today's video though guys if you have enjoyed taking a look at the new lampadati tigon with me then please drop a like on the video subscribe if you are new over the next couple of days we're going to be customizing all the brand new cars released in this update and as i mentioned at the start of the video if there's any of the four that i mentioned at the start you want to see then please uh, watch the live stream that i did the other day but that is going to do it for me thank you very much for watching i hope you have enjoyed and i'll see you in the next video